Hello, praise God today, and thank you for tuning on once again to YouTube. Um, I want to share a couple of words uh, from from um, I'm gonna read the book of um, um let's see, believe it's Hosea. I'm gonna read the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six, and um, I hope you all have been blessed and had a blessed week and a good day and the rest of your day i pray it went well um i want to read here uh Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 it says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge i also will reject you from being priest for me because you have forgotten the law of your god i also will forget your children well, forgive your children. I will always, always forgive your children. You know, if you got God, you, you, you got Him. You know, because of lack of knowledge, you're not trying to do what He wants you to do and tell you to do it. Obey Him and, you know, uh, do what He asks you to do in the kingdom. You know, He'll forgive you. He'll forgive your children. You know, and people wonder why things happen. You know, uh, why things happen to the kids or whatever. You know, I mean, it's a lack of knowledge. You know, uh, we're not doing, we're not being obedient to God. You know, do what he wants you to do. You know, so it's very important to uh, take heed in that. You know, read for yourself. Um, you know, study and meditate. Um, I want to read um, to the book of Romans. Um, I think that's chapter one. Book of Romans, chapter one, verse fifteen. So 16 and 17. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jews first and also for the Greeks. For in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. You know, so who is it? I'm the just who's just to live by faith. I live by faith. I walk by faith and not by sight. Praise God. And I just want you uh, to take heed and read words and read for yourself. That way, uh, you know, it won't be no different than what I'm saying. And um, I just want to share with you the Ecclesiastes chapter 7, uh, verse 8. It says the end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. You know, then you don't have to be patient. You know, be patient in spirit. You know, it's like you be, it's like, it's like you pray for something, you know. And uh, some people want to rush and hurry up and, you know, it takes too long. I pray, I'm missing out. You know, just be patient. You know, be patient in spirit too, you know, because. Uh, God's not a rushing God, you know, He wants you to be patient and you know all you do. So, you know, sometimes when you rush and try to do things on your own, you know, sometimes the things just don't work out the way, you know, you want it to work out. You know, sometimes I'll be like, you know, I ain't trying to rush things and do things my way and, and don't even know I'm messing up things, you know, instead of waiting on God to show me and direct me and, you know, when it's time to, you know, for that to happen, you know, that's the way. So, you know, when I get to rush and doing things, you know, it just don't work, you know, it just, then you just mess it up. You know, it don't be it don't be in order the way God would want it to be. That's why I learned how to wait and be patient and you know, all I do pray, wait, you know, keep my faith and uh, you know, just be patient. Man, thank you all for uh, you know, listening and you know, read the book, you know, um you know, it's in the book, King James, you know, Bible, King James, Holy Bible. Um you know, read for yourself, take heed and take action in it and, uh, you know, but faith come by, uh, hearing and hearing by the word of God, you can have faith in the word of God. You know, so you can't say you in here, you know, all the saying what you're saying, you know, with God through it and, you know, it's kind of a couple of more scriptures in here and, you know, just talk about, you know, the word of God, you know, everything talks about the word of God in here. You know, it's just, it's just saying that it's a uh, way of, you know, showing us what he wants us to do. You know, and I'm um, taking heed of it, doing what he say do is most important, you know, do what he say do. Not just being hearers, but doers. 
you know, he wanted to do the world, you know, he wanted to do the will of God. Because he loved us all and, um, you know, uh, nothing works without him. And um, I just want to, um, you know, share that with you and everything. But, um, I'm also going to pray for those that, you know, want to pray, wait for prayers, you know, uh, you know, may have a bad week or some of you might be facing this upcoming week and you might not know how it's going to turn out, you know, but God do, you know, that's why I'm important to pray, you know, hand it over to him, you know, he cares for you, he knows all about it. I'm going to pray for those uh, now and I have to be I pray for those that's watching, I pray you are Bless them and strengthen them and keep them in Jesus' name. I pray that you would just uh, be with them and protect them in every area of their life. And I pray whatever's going on in their life, Lord Jesus, I pray you will fix it. Send your angels to guard and protect them in Jesus' name. Send the angels to help them in Jesus' name. Lord, I just pray that you would just uh, bless them. God bless them and their family, Lord. I just pray that you would just lift them up and keep them in the world and uh, give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding as they read, Lord Jesus. God bless the one that may be struggling or going through something, Lord. I just pray that you help them in each area, every area, whatever they're facing, whatever's upcoming, Lord. You got to pray they don't worry. I pray they hand it all to you in Jesus' name. I pray that you will be okay in Jesus' name. Just trust in God that he cares for you and, and uh, nothing works without him. And I pray for each one of you all to be safe, be blessed, you know, have your health, your strength. I uh, rebuke every sickness and disease in Jesus' name. And God bless the one that's tuning on and gives me confidence. I pray this world will be for you also. That you to be blessed and meditate day and night. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory be to God. God bless you all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And I'm just, uh, you know, praying that uh, each and every one of you just, just take heed of the word and do the will of God for your life. And, uh, you know, like I said, nothing works without God. And, you know, take heed of these, uh, you know, verses and messages. And, you know, and just read, read. I mean, nobody can say you wrong. You just read for yourself. Read and study, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with listening to teachers and teaching and, you know, teach the word of God. But, you know, good to know for yourself, you know, what it's like. You know, but uh, you know also. But until next time, God bless you and your family. And I tell you, uh, continue to be blessed. And stay tuned. Continue to stay tuned. And praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to just say, uh, you know, God bless you all. But you will bless you with somebody. You know, you just got to know and believe that you with somebody. That God got you here for his purpose. You know. No matter what it looks like, no matter what you face, God gets you for His purpose and for His reason. Glory to God. So God bless you and your family. Be blessed, be safe, and all you do. Until next time, God loves you, and so do I. See you next time.